Hey YouTube, what's going on? Sausage here, and this video is to help you boost your FES in Battlefield 1, get rid of the lag, get rid of the uh, stuttering and uh, CPU spikes and all that kind of stuff, so you can get a decent frame rate. Now, first thing you need to know is that the game was released about a week ago. It's still brand spanking new. Usually it is uh, between two to three months before DICE rolls out the performance patch. So till then, there's a uh, couple of things you need to do in order to in order to fix your FPS, first things first, you need to know that DirectX 11 functions better within Windows 10 than it does with uh, Windows 8.1 or whatever earlier Windows you have installed. So a good advice is to um, upgrade to Windows 10. I just upgraded to Windows 10. I was, I was thinking I was going to experiment with DirectX 12 and quite honestly, I uh, didn't really like DirectX 12. Right now, it's still in testing mode and stuff so it's not really um that big of a difference actually directx12 kind of caused the game to hiccup and stuff like that so first thing you need to know is that it's worth it to upgrade to windows 10. directx11 works better in windows 10 than it does in previous windows so that's the first step now once you upgraded uh, to windows 10 and just to let you know you can go back to your previous operating system you have installed on your machine within the first month if you don't like it you can still go back you just need to do an upgrade and not a clean install so you don't need to format your hard drive and all that just upgrade it from windows from within windows actually so well once you do that um you need to go to your graphics manufacturer website and download the latest beta drivers not the official drivers but there's going to be beta drivers that you need to download those beta drivers are going to give you the uh, best performance for the game that's one thing. Um, another thing you need to know is that once you upgrade to Windows uh, 10, Windows 10 is going to park your CPU cores. So what you need to do is unpark your CPU cores again. So you can download the Unpark CPU cores uh, app. You can look it up on Google. It's pretty easy to find. And unpark your uh, CPU cores. That's the uh, second thing you need to do. So you upgrade it, download the drivers, you unpark the CPU cores, these three things automatically will give you a boost. I mean, I just upgraded to Windows 10 and I'm really happy. The stuttering is gone and the FPS is kind of steady, even on high, so I'm pretty happy with that. I wanted to share this with you guys. Another thing you need to know, uh, actually this works out for pretty much every other game, in case you didn't know it. I mean, I just found this out like uh, six months ago. When you set your full screen mode to borderless like this, what borderless does actually, it, uh, it enables triple buffering. So well, triple buffering means 25, to 30 percent off of your gpu juice and you don't want that so what borderless does it gets rid of the screen tearing by enabling um triple buffering but at the same time it uses more gpu power so that's gonna degrade the performance of the game so what you want what you need to do is stay away from borderless i know it's convenient you know if you're always tabbing out deleting videos uh, whatever you're doing uh, in, the, in the desktop browsing the internet while you're responding or whatever it is borderless is uh, really bad <laughs> I mean, I know it's convenient, but it's bad for the FP, for the frame rate. So you want to do full screen. I'm borderless right now because uh, I'm recording a video and stuff, so it doesn't really matter. But in game, you got to be full screen. Full screen will give you at least 15 to 20 FPS more. So uh, let's just uh, go through the steps you need to do again. First thing, upgrade to Windows 10. Second thing, um, the beta drivers from your um, graphics card manufacturer's website. Unpark the CPU cores. Four, you need to go full screen and not borderless for the reasons I uh, specified earlier. So these four things would definitely make the game feel smoother. Uh, the frame rate's gonna be fluid, no hiccups, no CPU spikes. Uh, of course, you're gonna use DirectX 11 and not 12. For me, for right now, I'm, st I'm sticking up with uh, DirectX 11. Uh, these are my settings, doesn't really matter, whatever it is. I mean, I uh, do ultra, high, medium, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up if it helped you out. Stick around for more. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.